Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, man. So oh. we're uh, we're checking out Swainy Swifts on the square today. And uh, Swainy Swifts. Swainy Swifts. Okay. Used to be a drugstore here in downtown Gallatin. Right. And they're revitalizing Gallatin, and so uh, Swainy Swifts was one of the first ones that kind of got in on revitalizing that. They used the old original sign, and we actually have a bar, like almost a soda fountain type place. Really? It's pretty awesome. Oh, that's good. So, kind of like that, um, what, Back to the Future type of a setting? Yeah, yeah, no, it's nice, and their, their food is amazing. And then the people who own that, they also own uh, down, uh, a couple stores down, they have an ice cream shop. Not over there. It's under where the, the florist is. There's oh. An ice cream shop. And there's also a little uh, little store where they sell like a little, I guess, clothing store. It's a little boutique firm. They got a little ice cream shop. Is that cool too? It is. Yeah, it's called the, the Creamery. The Creamery. Okay. Are we doing a double shot or what? I think we should. All right. You need to save some room then because I know you. You'll pack that big burger. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I can't do the Creamery. Oh, I, I can always do it. <laughs> as, as my eight-year-old says, I have two sides. I have a normal food side, then I have a sweet side. <laughs> okay, so everything's so nostalgic. I love it. You got the old phone. And by the way, honestly, anybody, any of my viewers, have you ever made a phone call on this exact phone, this style? A rotary phone, have you ever made one? That's all I want to know. I know you've seen them before, probably on the internet and all that, but have you ever made a phone call? I have. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and anybody I was calling was always sevens and eights and nines. Yeah, of course it was. Exactly. Okay, this is where people look at me strange because I'm going to do a 360 in the middle of a room. <laughs> like, is this guy going to dance for us? <laughs> it's got but, good music on, right? Yeah, it's got music on. But I got, they got this cool little, can you sit there in that area yeah. over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sit over there. Yeah. A little quiet area. And sometimes problem. on Fridays and Saturdays they have live music. Oh, and that's like the little stage. Yeah. That's where we're at, historical downtown Gallatin. All right, so the starters. Do we want to do any starters? Um, Are you a fried pickle guy? You get some fried pickles with your burger. They oh, put you a couple do. on there. Oh, forget it. I ain't paying yeah, for it. Yeah, right, exactly. Hand spun milkshakes. I don't even know what that looks like, but we're going to find out. Hello, how are you doing today? Good, how are, how are you? you? Good, my name's Hannah. I'll be taking care of y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a great menu, dude. <laughs> All right, so that's the, there's their burger information. You want to know how they make their burgers? Cook medium well. And a company with seasoned fries or chips, choose one and enjoy. I am huge. Burgers are just huge. Do you eat your burger medium well or do you like a little bit on the medium I side? I do a medium rare normally, yeah. but I don't care. I can eat it anyway. Yeah. If the meat's good, it doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah. So they can cook it till it's burnt and it should be good. The porky, here we go. It's always sunny cheese steak. Alright. Bohemian well, Rhapsody, what's that? Oh, it's a great. Oh, wow. Okay, so I apologize for the backlighting. Let me get a better angle. Okay, so here's the deal. They're very much like another place in town called the Pharmacy. Yeah. And they used to have a burger called the Red Barn. The Red Barn, yeah. And you think it's not on the menu anymore because why? Well, I don't know if it's because they had a, it was similar to what the Pharmacy had or not, but right. um, the Sunday morning is the only one now I see with an egg on it. And before the Red Barn had an egg with some honey maple mustard. Right. And bacon. And so that was really that was a that was my second favorite burger on the menu. So but it's not on here now. So let's pretend it's a secret item menu. Do you think they're gonna still make it for you? Oh they would if I asked for it. I'm, I'm gonna go with the southern. Alright, we gotta ask about the red barn though. Yeah. We gotta ask about the red barn. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah. Okay, so my quit oh what's your first name? Hannah. Hannah, that's right, I'm sorry. Um so here's what I'm curious about. You used to have a red barn burger? Yes, sir. And that was removed from the menu? Yes, sir. Was it a political reason or a choice by the chef? Just a choice. Okay. We liked it better with the um, French toast on it. So now it's the what? what it's it? called the Sunday morning. Sunday morning? And it has French toast on it and you dip it in syrup. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I don't care what you call it. You call it dog poop and I don't <laughs> that. Seriously. It's, it's different, but it's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Dipping your burger in syrup? Yeah, it's a weird concept, but the bacon and syrup is actually really good. That should be illegal. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Let me get a shot of that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, what am I looking at here again? So this is the Southern. Right. Has spicy pimento cheese on it. Right. Bacon. Right. And look at this bun. The bun is it airy? Yeah. Look, look, look at it's fluffy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 
Oh, it's so good. It's not dense at all. No. It looks big, but it's not. No. Nice. Okay, and we have seasoned fries, right? Yeah, and they give you a little bit of fried pickles. Oh, very cool. That's their house special. And what's the dip over there? This is just a little ranch. I like a little ranch for my fries and for my pickles. Oh, you're a ranch guy. Ranch, blue cheese. All right, they just brought us some Swainy sauce. And I'm not trying the Swainy sauce, so that's... Okay. All right, so we'll try that in a minute. Yeah. And then I've got the Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Any uh, Queen fans in the room? Or, <laughs> or should I say uh, uh, Wayne's World fans? I see a little silhouette of a man. There you go. Brian's <laughs> singing it. Okay. So, yeah, let me get how, close, how close can I really get to the food? All right, everybody. This is where you put your tongue on the screen and you lick it. <laughs> All right, go ahead and try the sweetie sauce. All right. And and kind of give me, kind of try to guess what it is, too. I'm going to say like at the barbecue ranch or something. Hang on. Possibly. Hang on. Nope. Are you going for seconds? Really? Yeah, I got I got A double sweetie? Oh, Sweeney. I'm sorry, Sweeney. There's some horseradish in there, I think. Is there? There's heat? There's no, there's no heat. It's just the taste, the flavor of horseradish. A little okay. ketchup. Right. A little mayo. So it's kind of got a thousand islandy flavor with a horseradish kick to it. No way. Okay, yeah. hold on. You gotta take this. All right, let me try this. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll get a good, a good hand. And it's Sweeney, right? Yeah. Sweeney. Right, here we go. Definitely horseradish. Yeah. The sweet is the ketchup. Okay, ketchup, mayo, horseradish. That's what it is. But I feel I like, got. is there garlic maybe? I can't tell. There's something else that I'm not. Or they're using a um, Thousand Island blend. Yeah. With horseradish. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so good. All right, so ready? The initial bite. Look at how big, oh my God. Look <laughs> how big that is. <laughs> Are you really gonna bury your face into it? Oh, I, I'm going for the whole big bite. All right, go for it, dude. Unbelievable. Look at that. It looks like you didn't even touch it. Dude. Huh. That is so good. Is it? The bacon. Right. Playing off the of spicy and cheese. Right. Such great flavor. Really? And the burger is perfectly cooked. Perfect? Perfect. All right, let me try the pickle first. Hold on, real quick. Oh, wow. Good dill. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, look how it's bacon. Can you see that? Yeah. What else is in there? I don't even know. Let's open it up. Oh, look, there's some squat. Oh, oh, oh there's. Oh yeah, that's right. They sauteed the vegetables to put in here with the bacon and the cheese. That's interesting. All right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> Good flavors, dude. Good flavors. So Spencer, so you're the owner. I am, yes. Yeah, can you just quickly tell us how it, how it started? Uh, well, it's uh, kind of a long story. We've got my, our family, my wife's mother owns a restaurant in town and you know, I've worked in restaurants for years. And then I'd gotten out of the food business. You know, I got married and had kids and just needed something that paid a little better. So um, I got into distribution centers and factories and whatnot, but was never really happy with it. And I always wanted to open a restaurant. It was kind of a dream in the back of my mind that someday, I'll, if I can financially work it out, we'll do that. And so um, I went to work for my mother-in-law at her restaurant a couple years ago and ran her kitchen for about a year. And then uh, this place just kind of came available. It was uh, one of those strange things. It was. Uh, it used to be a different restaurant. It's, it's an old pharmacy. It's a and great location. It's a really cool spot. And I'd, I'd come here when it was the Whipper World, the previous restaurant. and. Uh, just loved the loved the building. Was always impressed, and, and so when it came available, I said, "Well, let's at least look at it." You know, I don't know if it's the right time in life, but let's check it out. So we kind of came as a family, my wife and I, and our mother-in-law and brother-in-law, and we, we said, "Let's let's check it out." And we came up here and just fell in love. I said, "This is happening one way or the other." The way it's worked out, because my mother-in-law has another restaurant that's very very busy. She ends up she's stuck there all the time. Right. She opened up an ice cream shop two doors down from us and so she's already got a restaurant and an ice cream shop 
she's really got no time to be involved here. And then my wife has since opened up a uh, clothing boutique three doors down from here. So, and so, so they all abandoned you. They all and left so they all it. left. And so now it's me. <laughs> and, How did you uh, name the place? It was uh, originally a pharmacy called Swanee Swift. Uh, oh, that's the original. Ago. That's the original name. That's no way. When we were thinking thinking about names, trying to figure out a cool name for the place, and I drove up here, and, and out on the street, there's the original a neon sign from the 1960s, and I said, "Well, if you can't rip that down, that's oh, the no. coolest thing of the whole building. So let's just call it that, you know." And I didn't know if we would even be allowed to because it wasn't, you know. But there was a it was a pharmacy years ago owned by a Dr. Swanee and a Dr. Swift, and so there's a lot of the original signage and stuff, and I said, hey, it's there's beautiful. the name. Yeah. Uh, Did you have these recipes in your head before you opened? No, uh, well, some of them. Yeah. You know, we'd been to places and had a burger with an egg on it, and this, this, I, I had some basic ideas, but basically the way the menu was designed, we all sat down, the whole family, myself, my wife, my brother-in-law, and my mother-in-law, and just threw ideas out. We sat in here one day and said, uh, my mother-in-law said, you gotta do pimento cheese and pickles. And I said, man, that just sounds gross. And I said, oh, I gotta add something else to the pimento cheese and the pickles. Right. And then so we came up with a sweet chili sauce and, and bacon. And man, that is, it's called the Southern. It's a great, one of my favorite burgers here. That's what you had, right? Yep. Well, you had it without a couple of things. Yeah. But, um, so you didn't get the full. I'm gonna the get the full, full Southern next time I come in. But I just, I know you're a busy man and they need you in there. But I just wanna say thanks. Um, your prices are amazing. Your quality is off the charts. Thank you. So I can't, I can't explain to my viewers how much it means to me to have amazing food at an affordable price. Thank you so much. Okay, so Spencer's cool. He told us they had an upstairs. And um, so you want to sneak up there? Yeah, let's take a look. All right, we're going to sneak up there right now. Okay, so here's the staircase. A little dark. Bear with me. Bear with me, guys. We're going upstairs. Upstairs to it. I didn't know he had an upstairs here, dude. Did you? No, I had. Well, I knew he had an upstairs. I didn't know he was doing like the, the Friday night music thing with it. Oh, 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 okay. What is up with this beer? Ever since I've been in Tennessee, there are people in California who can't get this beer. Yeah, and I've, I've heard them. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, this place is cool. Look at this place. Sorry, it's. Let's get away from the lighting. Yeah, I've never been up here, though. This is like. They have performances down there, he said. <laughs> Look at you. What do you got? Wait, wait, let's bring them with us so you can see what's in there. I like, like a kitchen. A kitchen there, maybe? A kitchen? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they probably got to prep food up here. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> Friday this nights. Is this place is rocking. They have a house band that does like Led Zeppelin cover tunes and everything. Right there, what a cool building, dude. Look at this. Look at the view out of that window of the square. You can, this is like, this is like the hip, this is a hipster place, that's what it is. Yeah, it is. Absolutely hipster place. Look at, and <laughs> the eclectic chair collection. <laughs> but look, 16, doesn't it say 16 beers on tap? Yeah. Yeah, let me show you the bar real quick. Great, okay. <laughs> So he's got 16, let me show you what he got on a draft. I don't know anything about beer, guys, so have at it. Tell me if you know any of these. There's all the taps. Little Texaco filling station, and once again, back to the old drugstore prescription filling counter. We head next door? I think so. This is like a there, double, double I wonder feature. if that patio's open. There's an outdoor patio up let's here, too. Let's try it. Let's, let's, see. let's just get, like, in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to follow you. Here, do we dig up? I just leave it there. I'm gonna follow you out here and see if you fall off like the cliff or something. I'll know that's not a good exit. Oh, check this out, dude! What is going on? This place is the coolest. Look at that rooster. Okay, so he's got this cool, this cool bird, right? My wife would put that on our house right now. The rooster? Yeah. Dude, she has a rooster thing. All right, let me take a picture of it so that you can have it and then maybe get it made by somebody. Have somebody do some metal work. Yeah. All right, you should do your this. This place is perfect for like your Sunday evening coffee podcast. It would be cool. They actually have plugs up here, so yeah, they, I could see that. Love you. You guys could sit out here in the evening. How cool would it be? You need a little bring. Uh, you can borrow my lights if you want that night. Nice. And you could sit out here with another couple and just have coffee and and chat it up. How many people? What twenty people maybe? Yeah, 15, 20 people. Fifteen, twenty. You ready to go do some ice cream? 
I'm always ready for All right. ice cream. Let's go next door to his mother-in-law's place, right? Yep, the creamery. Awesome. Okay, so what is your all-time favorite in life? So, ice I mean, cream if, if we're just talking just ice cream, nothing else in it, just yeah. chocolate. I love chocolate ice cream. Straight? Straight. But if we're talking like you want to jazz it up, I want some brownies in that ice cream. Like chocolate decadence. You know, it's got layers, fudge and brownies and chocolate. and But anything salted caramel is good too. I'm a total Rocky Road guy. Ah, uh, see, I don't want the nuts in there. I don't know why. I, don't know. I like nuts, but I don't like them in the ice cream. All right, we're gonna get comments on that. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anytime you use the word nuts on my show, there the comments are gonna fly. It's all right. All right. I, cool. I'm comfortable saying I don't like nuts. <laughs> yeah, good. I can say that too. Okay, so here we go. Town Square, Country Market, North One Two Eight Water. Is that the street? That's it. All right, there it is. Let me get a snapshot of that. Okay, so these are. Is this our? Oh, this is our menu. Is this the menu? Yes. Good, how are you? Top, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm like, top pings? What are, what are pings? What does that mean? I don't know. Dude, there was an extra what fraction of an inch that? between the peas, which made it look like two words. Okay, um, <clears throat> here's the toppings. All right. Oh my. What are the pings? You know, when you glance at things, and like, like over here, ready? Oh, I can eat ice cream. That's what I see. That's what I see when I look at that. All you ice cream. So yeah. All right. How are you? Ah, yeah, we're good. Okay. What's your What's your favorite? My favorite is the white chocolate raspberry fudge for uh, sure. Okay. That one is hard to beat. Yours sure. too. I like the crunchy caramel pretzel. You like the crunchy caramel. Yeah. All right. So he's getting your favorite. Yeah. So I'm gonna get your favorite. Cool. Good choice. Good choice. What size do you want me to get? Um, I just want the regular waffle cone. Regular waffle cone. And can I get one scoop of? Crunchy caramel pretzel with chocolate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Not changing, yeah, but that's what technically the name right, is. Hold on, wow. put your phone right there. Next Take a shot. <laughs> Why are you trying to make me feel fat? <laughs> no, dude. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I was just trying to get a picture of our cones. Yeah, whatever. Oh man, these comments are gonna, <laughs> dude. These comments are gonna fly. All right. Well, I just want to thank you guys so much. We're gonna go outside and enjoy. Awesome. Have a great day. Yeah, Take care. You too. Thanks. Okay, so. My first bite of like real homemade awesome creamery ice cream. Let's try it out. Mmm. The strawberry, right? Wow. Raspberry. Oh, the raspberry? Yeah. That berry flavor is booming. Yeah. First bite, boom. Do you taste the white chocolate too? Uh huh. All right. There's a cop on a motorcycle. You want some? <laughs> Poor guy, he looks hot. I mean like, warm. <laughs> I meant warm. Oh jeez. Another, another set of comments. Another set of comments. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna review this real quick. Um, I'm gonna let him end, so I'll go first. Okay. Absolutely love Swainy, is it Swainy? Sw yeah, okay. So it is, but I mean, cause that's Swanee. what they're sticking with, but Swanee is, I guess. I like Swanee Swift. Swainy Swift, Swanee Swift was amazing. Great price, great food. The creamery is right next door, like three doors down. Check it out, worth every bit. Make a night of it. Take a date out here, take your wife out here on a date night, and enjoy yourself. So, I'm wolfing down this ice cream. I know I shouldn't be because it's Friday. I'm probably gonna eat bad tonight too, but we had an amazing lunch at Swainy Swift's. Uh, Spencer and his crew, they do an awesome job. Great food. Um, enjoyed the atmosphere, enjoyed the food, service was great. Then we came down for some ice cream at the creamery. Salted caramel, chocolate, waffle cone, can't go wrong there. And I know what you're thinking. You ladies are thinking, well I can't have ice cream because my clothes are going to be tight. Well then you just go next door to their store, it's a little clothing boutique, and you get you a shirt that's a size larger. <laughs> it's simple. Oh it's yeah, simple. women are going to totally love me for that. <laughs> Alright. So, anyway. Um, Appreciate you guys watching. I love hanging out with Jack. I hope it's not the last time, and we'll uh, we'll see you on one of the next episodes. Take care.